I told the youth work harder, focus on the pound of a gums like Prada Trapped in the system, don't know what you're missing Yellow gold brick on my wrist is glistening, bitch I see you now. Oh, no, 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 Bro, it's gone. It's gone to the USDT address, bro. It will be there any second now, bro. I promise. I swear my mother's life. I literally swear my fucking nan's life, bro. It's gone to you. That's all I've got. I'm, fu I'm now fucked. I can't go to the UK. I'll go to the UK. I'm fucking dead now because I can't even afford to pay the guy. I've borrowed the money off, bro. I'm fucked. My bank account has shut me down. I can't even get, I can't even get a taxi. I've sent you everything I can do. My mum has no money. I have no money. I'll give you my fucking clothes, bruv. Do you want my clothes to make up for it? I've got nothing else, bruv. Literally nothing. What's the story when you got robbed in Dubai? That's an interesting story. So the story about when I got robbed in Dubai was this. Um, basically, there was a geezer uh, who's... I don't know if he's still here. I don't know where he is, but... Basically, I, I managed his niece on uh, on OF um, and <clears throat> didn't really like it, whatever. Uh, talks were going around the R that he knew he knew CID um, and he knew fucking serious people out here, whatever, whatever, and he was going to come do me. And I was like, look, whatever, like, let me just go meet this guy and speak to him man to man, one to one. And I said that to the niece. The niece had no problem with me. So we go and we meet for this one-to-one -one chat. I'm like, right, this, I'm, oh no, shit, sorry. That isn't the story. Then we were at five, CID is like MI5 of Dubai, like MI6. Like CID here is even more powerful than that. CID here is basically like, look, very powerful guys, very important people in Dubai. They can say, you're going to prison for the rest of your life, done, see you later, take you and you're finished. No questions like they are, we're here. They're up here, like they're elites. CID are like elite level police, whatever you want to call them. Okay, serious guys, you got to respect them a lot. Um, anyway, anyway, no, they're not the Matrix, bro. Matrix is like a different word. They're not the Matrix. But anyway, story is, so I was in uh, Fire Palm and I was talking to these two fit girls, right? Um, one of which actually, after this whole incident, gave their number to me, L. But anyway... The guy come up, comes up to me, oh, fuck off. I'm like, bro, like, what the f like, I just like, fuck off you, like, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I think he pushed me, then he got dragged out of the club. Then, on the way out, no, we got separated by security inside the club, whatever. Then on the way out, he was downstairs. I'd had a few drinks, and I just thought, fuck it. The video's up somewhere of me starting on him. Somewhere would be here. HS Siki Toki, Dubai incident. Uh, yeah, this guy. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, this fucking geezer, right? Wait, where's the video, bruv? Right, here's the video. Here's the fucking no, video. No, 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 no. So this was outside fucking uh, Fire Pond, right? And basically, this geezer's like a fucking, does his, does his thing, whatever. Oh, shit, you missed it. Yeah, fuck, can't even see it. Oh, fuck, I just clicked off the YouTube bit as well. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Ouais, euh... mm-hmm. You can see how he was clout chasing after this, bro, tagging everyone up. Just a clout chaser, mate, honestly. I'll see you, I'll see you now. Well, like, he was saying he'll see me another time. I was like, I'll see him now. I wanted to fight him now. Long story short, I was drunk. He wasn't drunk. Um, but anyway, that was just squaring up, whatever. I wanted him to go around the corner. I wanted to have a fight with him. I was being stupid. I'd had too much to drink. But the point is, right, this guy's 50 odd years old and he come up to me in the club and started on me, right? He's just jealous, okay? He's jealous that he's in the situation he is. I'm in the situation I'm in. It's as simple as that. People get jealous when you make some money. Oh yeah, this guy's a dickhead talking to girls, whatever. It's nothing to do with him, bro. He thought, whatever. He just wanted to start on me because he was fucking jealous. Anyway, point is, a few weeks after um, we had been met, he took your passport. I'm going to explain the whole story. I'm, I'm going to explain the whole story truthfully because I don't need to lie. This is the thing. I, I don't need to fucking lie. I'll explain the whole, exactly what happened. He comes in to fire. We, we're meant to meet one-on-one to have a talk. I didn't know if it was for a talk or for a fight. I didn't really care. I thought I was going to meet him one-on-one, as guys do, to speak. He pulls up... Um, the big tall Asian geezer and another geezer. The Asian guy had like a, I don't know if it's called like a, a barca or a turban or whatever it's called. And he looked very official. Comes over in the middle of five where we're meeting a week later, sat down. He comes over, slams the chair down on the floor. You need to send us 50k right now. He took your passport and your clothes. He didn't take my clothes. Anyway, you need to send us 50k English right now. Um, or... or um, we're going to put you in prison. The guy, the, the Asian guy says he's CID. He's going to send me to prison, blah, 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 blah. I was new in Dubai. I didn't realize how it worked out here. And I'll be honest with you guys. I went there meeting thinking I'm going to meet him on my own. It was very, it was very fucked for me to experience. That was fucked. He comes over. I'm thinking, sh- I'm in my head. I'm thinking, fuck. Like, I'm fully fucked now. I'm going to prison. So I was like, bro, like, I'm really broke. I'm really broke. I have no money. Like, boys, as you know, I don't carry money on me. I don't, my, my crypto wallet, after this date now, my crypto wallet has nothing in it. You cannot get money off me. I have no money. I have no access to money at all. So I show him my bank account. My bank account at the time had 6K in it. I'm like, bro, look, I'm broke. I'm just a TikToker. Like, all the, all the cars are rented. The watches aren't mine. Like, I'm just a big blah, blah, blah. I was playing that type of thing. I was saying that to the police guy because I literally thought that I would be sent to prison for four years, they said, okay? And I genuinely believe that. We're not in the UK, guys, okay? In the UK, all the time to fuck off. We're not in the UK. We're in somewhere where maybe something could happen like that. Bro got scammed by fake CID, LMAO. It wasn't that really, it wasn't that funny, in it? Like, it kind of fucked me off. The whole situation fucked me off. It is what it is. Anyway, I'm like, yeah, I've got no money. He's like, right, who's the other guy that filmed it? He then brings, I'm like, he's like, get, you need to get in the car. Like, this is what the, the police guy says. So I'm like, right, whatever. I've got in the car with him and the two other guys. Um, and they're driving to the other guy. They're like, oh, what, uh, they're going to Tiger Tower where I stand to go see the other guy. I was like, look, I've got no money. I tried to send him the 6K that was in my bank account to just let me like fucking get out of this car, like to get out of this situation. I didn't realize I was shitting myself a little bit. I'll be, I'll be straight. And... Uh, the 6K bounced back off of the police. Do you reckon he was real police? He wasn't real police because I had someone check. Um, but look, I'm not gonna go, I can't talk about too much online, but he wasn't real police, okay? It was fake. The whole thing was fake. Honestly, it was smart, okay? It was fucking smart. I thought I was meeting him and he got me, he he, he got the one up, all right? He, he got the fucking one up. It was kind of smart what he did. It was a scumbag move, a serious scumbag move. Uh, and it was done out of jealousy. But anyway, the 6K bounced back. I was then... Uh, said like, look, let me go back to my hotel. I'll send you the money from my crypto wallet on my other phone that's in my hotel. So I go back to the hotel. I'm with his niece in the hotel room at the top. And I'm trying to get out of this shit. So I'm sending the police guy for um, these voice notes. Where I'm going, bro, please, I've got no money. I'm really scared. I'm fake crying. These voice notes, this is the scumbag thing of the whole situation, boys. Because I would sit here and say, if I was actually that shook to the point where I would be like that, I wasn't that shook. Okay, simple as that. The voice notes were fake. The niece could clarify that, but she would never come online and say that I was faking it. I was sat next to her and a geezer called Ty. Ty, I've fallen out with him now, so he wouldn't back up my story, but I'm telling you guys the truth, the God's honest truth. I swear on my mother's life. So I was sending him these voice notes to police guy going, no, please, please, da, 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 da. These are then the voice notes that he's put up online to say, oh, Harris, HS was so shook of me, blah, 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 blah. He was so shook. And that was the scummiest thing of the whole situation is he made it out as though them voice notes were real. 
um, and that I was actually mad, mad shook of him. So that was the scut, the cuntiest thing in the situation. I sent him six bags in crypto, and then he said, I'll have a few days to sort this out. In them few days, I contacted my people and other people like that and had that sorted out. Uh, did you fuck her? Nah, bro, why the fuck would I... Mate, my mate fucked her, bro, bro. I, I wasn't even trying to fuck her, mate. She, there was other fitter only fans girls I was managing who were in the house that I was in. So that's why I went. That's why I went. But um, that's... I didn't want to fuck her anyway. But my point is... I, I could have if I wanted to easily, right? Boom, like that, done. But the point is... I'm being honest, that was a scumbag thing. Them voice notes got put on the internet. When I saw that, I was like, what the fuck? Um, I really didn't rate that. But the whole situation was, okay, he walked away with, with, the, with the W as such. But morally, he's a fucking dickhead. And then when I come back to Dubai the next time, he sent me a voice note. Oh, yeah, fucking lad, you need to send me this amount of money now. Like, um, you need to send me this fucking... I just told him to fuck off because I know he's not who he's saying he is with the police. And now the, the situation's done. I've seen him in the beach club. None of us talk to each other. And he right, he got the money off me. Fair enough. It's finished now. Uh, I've seen him again in the beach club uh, in Dubai with his guys. I was with just Adam and nothing was said. But yeah, that is what it is. And it's a life lesson for me. I'm kind of glad the situation happened because I've learned about it now. And there are things that happen in your life that, that teach you things. And that has now taught me that I need to not just... I not. It seems simple, but I just need to not believe that that level of corruption happens. But I believed it did happen, and I believe that I could have gone to prison if I didn't, co uh, co um, if I didn't, what's the word? Collab collaborate, no. What's the word I'm trying to look for, bro? Um, I didn't, what's the word? Cooperate, bruv, cooperate, yeah. So I thought if I didn't cooperate, boys, that I was going to be fucked, and that was that. So I'm glad the situation, I'm genuinely glad the situation happened, because I paid six grand to learn that, to, to learn something that happens to me. If, if something happens to me like that in the future, and it's about dough, anywhere like this, sending dough, I'd rather die than send the fucking money. If that ever happened again, um, I would literally rather fucking die, I'd rather get chucked in prison, bruv. If something like that happened again, I'd tell someone to just go fuck themselves. I don't care who they are. I don't care what they're saying. i just tell them to go fuck themselves and that's that. And that's the life lesson I've learned. And for me to pay 6K for that life lesson, it's worth it for me. And there it is. So that's something that happened to me. That's the full truth. If you don't believe me and you want to believe that I was crying in front of Ty and his niece sending him voice notes, if you genuinely want to believe that, then that's cool. All right, that's literally cool and you can believe that. But I think if you guys really watch me, you know and you can tell from my heart that this is the exact situation. Um, that's the exact situation, bruv. I wasn't crying. I was faking being upset in order for him to leave me alone, okay? Because I was genuinely fucked. I, I thought I was fucked. And for you guys, put yourself in a situation, right, where you turn up thinking you're gonna have a scrap with someone or a manly chat with someone and they pull up with Arab guys and you're new in this place. It's not your home and you're fucked. Put yourself in that position and that's what happened to me. So I hope you enjoyed that fucking story and that's the God's honest truth of the whole situation that happened. And any other, any other bullshit you see on the internet is simply not true. That is exactly what happened and I was shook at the time. He, he got the one nil, okay? And it's whatever, okay? I, I've took the concession and there it is. Who's the guy and why was there beef? But I've already explained the story. If you want to listen to the story, you can listen to the story again. Um, and that's that. Uh, bro, don't need to stress about man on there being a country. We believe you, cuz. Don't worry. Come on, Shan. Come on, Shan. How did they get your airport? Nah, crazy. Didn't ask, though. Nah, crazy. Didn't ask, though. <laughs> Fair enough. Fun story, mate. Now gamble. All right, fuck it. I'll do a grand. I'll do a grand, you fucking cunts. What happened to OC? Explain the story, please. I don't really want to talk about the story in terms of OC um, because, like... Do you know what? He, all, all he said on the net is just about like how a situation happened and he didn't think I, I helped as much as I could help. Um, my side of the story is a little bit different to that, but it's not. It's, there's, there's two sides to the story and then there's the truth. Um, the truth lies somewhere in between and I'm not too egotistical to think any different to that. But... Yeah, that's something that wouldn't really be ever... Um, it, it, would, it wouldn't really be rekindled, honestly. My ego's too big. Um, not even ego, like... If, if I feel like I've been... If I feel like I've been snaked and I, I don't fucking... I don't really rate it. Like, there's, there's other problems I've had with other friends as well where I felt like I've been... 
I've been fucking snaked and I just don't rate it. Simple as that. So it's like, I don't, uh, my my head's too like fucking, uh, uh, simple as that. I just, the circle I have around me right now, they help me, they help me grow, they help me, they pull me up, not bring me down and they help me business wise. They add to my plate and I have real people around me that I know would help me in any certain scenario and have helped me in any certain scenario. And um, yeah. Just because Pete, someone's been there since the start doesn't necessarily mean they come there to the end. And that's something that you learn when you grow up, boys, okay? Um, yes, he's been there for years and years and years. Well, we had very, very good memories. A lot of my childhood memories were with him. Like, in not childhood memories, but middle age memories since I got kicked out of school. And I could have a great conversation with him. Sometimes I miss him, yeah, for sure. But sometimes learning and, learning and growing up in life is, is, is growing up and... That's as simple as that. Um, that's it, bruv. Like, if you look at sort of where I am now and who I surround myself with now, guys in my circle, like, for example, Hassan, multi-millionaire, the guys in my circle, fucking 30, 40 million. These are people that I talk to a lot, and that's the sort of levels I'm trying to get to in life. Um, but, yeah, guys, it's like, it's not really stories that need to get shared on social media. That's why I've not actually gone too deep into it, but wish everyone the best, for sure. For sure. And yeah, don't think, boys, don't think that just because, this is something to remember as well, boys, right? Don't think that just because I've ran into money that it may, like, that it's, that is the reason why I'm not friends with him. That's, that's not the reason why. Uh, literally, has, it has nothing to do with that reason at all. Um, like, literally at all. And I, uh, don't think that, boys. Just don't think that at all. It's nothing like that. Get Adam to show him trading and making profit. Adam trades every single day and shows him making profit. It was lit seeing you and Ed back out together in Ibiza. It was so long. Hopefully no shit goes on between you two. Yeah, I mean, it was good, man. It was good. He's got um, backyard MMA coming. That'll be good. I might get involved in that. I might promote that shit. Who knows? It depends. If we can... If he can give me a little bit of the pie, I'll come involved. I'll I'll come in I'll I'll get involved with that and help as much as as much as I can blow it up. Um but yeah. <clears throat> Hassan is a double yeah, he's, man, he's a good guy, bro. He's a good guy. He's a very good guy. Tell us a story on how you lost your virginity. Uh, the way I lost my virginity was with uh it was with a girl. We went on a little walk, we come back to my house. The fun story is, is that my mum went out, I think she went out to Sainsbury's shopping and I'd just gone out and bought some condoms or something like this with this girl. We'd gone on a walk, I think we smoked a spliff. We came back to the house, I had no idea what I was doing, didn't know how to put the condom on. She tried to put the condom on me. Probably wasn't that fucking good. Proper, 42 Phantom, big up for the sub. Anyway, I'm fucking smashing this and um, my mum comes up, comes into the room. Oh my God, really, really embarrassing. Brings downstairs. Says to the woman, why the fuck are you smashing this guy? I don't know how old I was. Uh, it was the end of year six. And yeah, that, that was what happened. Uh, my mum was trying to give this woman a life lesson. And that's that. Uh, talk about Switzy because he scammed me. But I'm not going to talk about anyone else and, and what they do. I'm not here to fucking like, say shit like that. It's none of my business. If he scammed you, you need to address that situation with him. Not address that situation with me. I'm nothing to do with that at all. I tell the youth work harder, focus on the pound of a gums up product, trapped in the system, don't know what you're missing. Yellow gold brick on my wrist is glistening, bitch.